Okay, the next thing we want to talk about in furthering your research, we want to talk about how to get books and other materials. So I'm going to go to the tab that says Books and More, and that's going to be our library catalog. And that's primarily where you find books, ebooks, uh, it's going to be where you find streaming videos, uh, lots of different types of documents like government documents. And some of these are print, they're in the building, some of these are online, and it's really an important uh, place to find sources for papers and other research. So we're going to do a little different search now. We're going to search on one of my favorite authors, James Baldwin. Let's see what we get. So I'm going to do a words or phrase search. That is a keyword search. Any word that you think best describes your topic, you can put it in there, do your search. You can also do an author search, title, subject, periodical title. What we're going to do is a words or phrase search, and we're going to search about the American author, James Baldwin. So I do that search. It looks like we got 321 resources back. Some of these are going to be in the library. They're going to be on the fourth floor. Some of these are going to be electronic. They're going to be online. And let's go down and look at some of these, and then we're going to talk about how to narrow it just to electronic sources that you may be able to get to uh, if you're not on campus. First resource we have is Collected Essays by James Baldwin. And I can look at that and see that it's going to be on a shelf somewhere. If I click Collected Essays, that title, I scroll down and it tells me all about the particular book. And I see that it's going to be PS section and it's going to be on the fourth floor and it appears not to be checked out. Okay, that's a book that's on the shelf. If you're off campus, you say, wait a minute, I, I can't use that. Let's find some ebooks, see what we get. Next one, number two, is going to be a print book. Number three, on the other hand, I see that it's online. That is going to be an ebook, and it's going to be about James Baldwin. Not too sure what all it's about, but I can click on it, and let's see if we can learn more about this resource. It looks like it's going to be a book that's electronic in nature. Of course, it's published in print, but we just happen to have the electronic copy. And so you go down at the bottom, you say, where is this located? It's, it's online. Uh, let's click on it. Now, if I click on it and I'm on campus, it brings me right in. Off campus, box is going to pop up, and I'm going to log in with my W number and my six-digit birthday. Because I'm on campus and I click that, it just pops right up. So it's an ebook. I pulled it up. It's on James Baldwin. He is a prolific American writer. This particular ebook is broken down. It's because it's from a company called JSTOR. It's broken down in chapters and sections. And so if you just want to go right to a certain section, like in introduction, situating James Baldwin, I can go download the PDF. I can read it online. Either way, if I click on download the PDF, say yes, I'm going to accept the terms. And the PDF pops up. And I can save that chapter. I can print the chapter. I can just read the chapter online, etc. And I see that this is going to be about a 12-page chapter. And I see it's going to be James Baldwin. And I'm going to have a chapter on James Baldwin. It's a PDF. PDFs are files that are basically scans of the document. They usually have page numbers. So this one, you know, if you cite from this page, it's page 3. You cite from the next one, it's page 4, so on. And you can download these, print them, etc. I like ebooks. We have, I think it's around 400,000 in our catalog. And you can get to them that way. But I want to show you, let's say you're at home and you say, well, look, I can't come to campus or the, the library's closed or whatever. Let's narrow it down to just electronic uh, sources. So, and there are different ways to do that. We can download it to just electronic resources. Click that. So out of that 321, now we're down to 188. And these are some that can be available online. You can see that same James Baldwin book we had a minute ago, another James Baldwin book. Some of these are going to be repeats. It's the same book we have ultimately more than one copy of and we can go through and download those. Some of these will be videos. If they're videos, they can be uh, viewed online, all very helpful uh, resources. So again, we can go to another page of James Baldwin resources, and we have just uh, large amounts of these. Like, for example, um, number 13. This is going to be James Wall Baldwin speech on civil rights. And if you want that one, you can click here for the video. It's going to pop right up. Once you've logged in, you've logged in with your W number and your six digit birthday. And this is going to be one of his speeches. James Baldwin was very prolific. Uh, he gave lots of, wrote lots of books and articles and essays, but he also uh, was a speaker. Uh, you can engage that, start the process of watching it. You can go to the transcript. As the transcript comes up, you can cite that and uh, cite that in your paper just like you would a particular article. So that's been the library catalog. Uh, I hope this is helpful to you. We're going to go on to another 
helpful resource in the library.